So in this example, we're going to go from the transfer function to controllable canonical form. So in controllable canonical form, we're going to see that we have a specific representation for the system, and we can identify that it's in controllable canonical form by looking at the A and B matrices. So here's our example transfer function. G of S, which is equal to Y of S over U of S, is equal to S plus 3 over S cubed plus 9S squared plus 24S plus 20. So I'm going to take this transfer function, and now I can write Y of S is equal to S times X of S plus 3 times X of S because I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom times X of S. So now that I've done this, I can see that U of S will be equal to S cubed times X of S plus 9S squared times X of S plus 24S times X of S plus 20 times X of S. So now I can take the inverse Laplace transform of each of these and see that Y of T will be X dot of T plus 3 times X of T and U of T will be equal to the third derivative of X of T plus 9X double dot of T plus 24X dot of T plus 20 times X of T. So with this definition of Y of T and U of T, I'm going to move now to a new page here. So now we get to define our state. So in this form, I'm going to let x1 equal x, x2 is going to be equal to x1 dot, and x3 will be equal to x double dot. So in fact, x1 dot and x dot are the same thing here. So now I can write x dot is equal to 0, 1, 0 times x1, x2, x3. That is, x1 dot is equal to x2. And we see that here. x1 dot is equal to x2. Plus 0 times u. x2 dot is equal to x3 plus 0u. But if we look at x3 dot, this is actually equal to minus 9x2, because we're going to take this x3 and put it on this side. We're going to take the u and put it over here. So x3 dot is equal to 1u minus 9x1 dot, or sorry, minus 20x1 dot minus 24x2 dot, minus 9x3 dot. And y is going to be equal to x1 dot plus 3x. So x1 dot is equal to x2. So we're going to have 3x plus 1x2, 3x1 plus 1x2 plus 0x3. So this gives us our controllable canonical